What up players, it's Warboss Tay up in this mode. Happy Sunday, this is just a quick, really quick little video to show you a test model for my Harlequins that I'm doing for my Eldar commission job. And I'm taking most of the inspiration from the Games Workshop website, where the product page for their Harlequin, Harlequin troop shows you how they would paint their various different bright colors and all of that stuff. So uh, I'm going to show you this guy, show you what I did to him, then I'll show you the other five models that I still have to go, and um, just post the quest, uh, or pose the question to you, what do you think, and um, do you have any advice? So the first thing I want you to, or, or first thing you should note, obviously, is the crazy design on the stocking, which I did with a .005 micron arts pen in black. And this baby is, you know, my secret weapon for doing checks, checkers, patterns and stuff. And I'm thinking at one, you know, at some point I will show you how I do these checks and do maybe like a little tutorial on, on them. But I'm really, I don't feel that comfortable doing them. I don't feel that confident doing them. So I feel like there are, there are much better guides and stuff online but I, I could just show you instead of a tutorial this is how you should do it to make it look good the tutorial will be more like this is how I did it and um, you can you can choose to use that or not if you want with all of my techniques the thing that I found really helped to sell the effect on the checks is that I used three different highlights on the colors so as well as doing some hard lining with my pen after I painted the colors. So the colors for the blue were Sotek Green, Temple Guard Blue, and then I, I think it was Techless Blue. Or you could do uh, the old um, Ice Blue as a highlight. For the red, it was Corn Red, then Mephiston Red. And then after I did the, the checks, I lined again with the with the Micron Arts pen to give it a very solid definition. And the thing that I found was really helpful was doing the highlights closer to the bottom. You'll notice that all the highlights are near the bottom of the diamond pattern rather than all, all over the place or near the top. I try to stick mainly to the bottom so that your eye gets drawn to the bottom of the patterns. So you can see the one on his collar is pretty, pretty sloppy. but. Yeah, it's, it is just so hard and you look at the one on the Games Workshop website and I just wondered, you know, how how do they do it? I just, I, I don't get it. I don't get it. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not that good at it yet. So, hey, if um, I want to pose a question. Do you have any suggestions on how you do diamond check patterns like this? Checkered patterns? I'd love to know. So leave a comment. Um, something else, I did this little spade slash Eldar symbol for the leg using just the Averland Sunset and then cleaning it up with some black paint so that came out pretty nice I think and then just like all my other Harlequins just to make a match I don't think they're supposed to be like this but I painted their heads as if they had shaved their heads and w are wearing the masks over it so the color tone I used was Cadian Flesh Tone and then just the Ogren Flesh Wash after. Majority of gold for the weapons and I still have to highlight those up but this guy's I want to say this guy's about 95% done. So let me know what, what you would do differently for that. The other Harlequin models I have to paint up are as follows. This dude with the chain sword. This fellow here with this, uh, I think it's called the Harlequin's Kiss weapon. And another one that has the same head and upper body the Harlequin's Kiss with just different jumping feet. No Troop Master though. The other two special ones are the Shadow Seer, which is going to be fun. If you've seen my other Eldar painting video with my Shadow Seer from the last project, it was, it was a fun model to do. And the Death Jester, which I feel is going to be the easiest because he's got a predominantly black color scheme with his coat. And then we can do some really fun stuff with the bone, Wraithbone armor. So there you have it. Eldar killing me. Oh, they're killing me. I'm trying to do some tutorials and unboxings and stuff to keep me sane, but oh boy, it's killing me. The the good, great thing is that I just noticed none of the other Harlequin models have the crystal sword, so this is the only one I had to really take the time to do the crystal sword effect on really well. 
And yeah, let me know if you have any questions, if you have any advice, what else you would do differently, and I'd love to hear from you. So I hope you're all having a good day, a great day, players, and we'll see you in the next video.